here again with Curious Jay, and this time uh, we're going to reverse it a little bit. I I kind of like uh, sprung the, the the Syrian white hats and all that stuff on you. So now you have uh, a reaction video for me. We just pulled these tabs up, but I don't know why we're looking at this, right. and I don't know where we're going. So so this is uh, with this it. is a picture from NASA. Uh, you know, if you see, notice on the top, it says January 6, 2017. Well, I have a feeling we're going to talk about flat Earth in this. No flat Earth, just simply NASA is hoaxes everything. <laughs> Never a straight answer. <laughs> right, right, exactly. <laughs> um, so just more of the same from NASA. So this is a picture. You can see the date there, January 6, 2017. So I was looking for this the other day, right, uh, to send to somebody as an example of the crap that NASA puts out. This is a picture supposedly from a satellite that is orbiting Mars with a, uh, excuse me, this is actually from a very powerful telescope, they say, that is orbiting Mars. And they took a picture there's of a, Wait, Earth. there's a telescope now orbiting Mars? Orbiting Mars is this super why, telescope. Why? Oh, I don't know. You, know, <laughs> you tell me, you know. Uh, don't yeah. you think they would have, I, I follow NASA. I, I mean, I hate to stop you. I'll probably <laughs> no, stop you a okay. few times. Why would you, you build I, a telescope and then have it orbit? Right. Let's, yeah, we're not going to uh, put one on the moon and, and so that we can get a live shot of Earth all the time. We're going to put one so far away that you get crap like this. All right. Uh, that, you know, where obviously Sorry. you can't use it for anything useful when it's this far away. No, you can't, you know, do anything with the weather or whatever. So anyway, but what's what struck me as odd, okay, is that I remembered the first time I saw this, this uh, picture, I showed it to my sister. Actually, There's, it's an image. Uh, you're right. First <laughs> time I saw this you. image. We all use their terminology. Yes, this image. It from says NASA. the composite image. Yeah. So hang on. Oh, hang I on. saw the first sentence. I'm yeah, sorry. No, that's okay. No, no, that's cool. That's why I pulled this up. So I actually showed my sister this during the Christmas holiday. Now I looked it up on the calendar. My parents left town on December 26th, so it was some point between the 20th and the 26th of December, 2016, that I found this and showed it to her, and I measured to show her the problem. So first, let's look at the problem. The problem here is that they got the diameters right. The moon here is about, you could fit about four to five of them inside the diameter of the Earth. Well, the diam diameter of the Earth is 8,000 miles, and the moon diameter, they say, is 2,000 miles. So that kind of matches up. If it was to the left and set back a little bit, so it'd be a little smaller than reality, then that's why you could fit about four or five across. The problem here is that in distance, in miles, it is about 240,000 miles from Earth to the moon. So you should be able to fit 30 of those Earths between it and the moon, which clearly you can't, right? So I pulled this up, showed my sister this problem during the Christmas holidays. We laughed at it. I'm like, you know, I actually blew it up on my computer and measured the thing. And I'm like, you can fit like five Earths right there, you know? And everyone got the joke. My dad, my sister, we laughed. Now... I tried to pull this up the other day to send to a friend. When I pulled it up, then it is now updated from January 6th, and they admit that the photo, if you scroll down just a little bit, is from November of 16, which is why I saw it during the Christmas holidays. But they now say it's a composite image of Earth and Moon, combining the best picture of the Earth and the best image of the Moon and putting them together. And they actually say, well, you know, usually the distance is so large, that's why we had to combine two images. They corrected their problem. So I'm sure someone on YouTube, uh, one of the Jaronism guys or whatever that's always attacking NASA, probably released this uh, video or probably did a video on the problem here, and they caught it and corrected it. Wow. And, and here they're admitting each was separately processed prior yeah. to combining them so that the moon is bright enough to see, Yeah, which is odd because the moon has been really, really bright to see from Earth, which is pretty far away as well. The moon is much darker than Earth, would barely be visible at the same brightness scale as Earth. Okay, now keep, look at this next sentence, which is totally wrong. The combined view retains the correct sizes and positions of the two bodies relative to each other. So the sizes, yes. Positions, I guess position or angle maybe, but not definitely not the distance. They just left out the fact that the distance isn't correct. So what's the what's your what's your theory on why they even released something like this? What were they trying to get across and what was the cray? Is is it because they don't really have a picture or I think that they a took a picture that well that the earth and the moon aren't that far away from each other, which but which is it a little bit of both? Could be both. <laughs> but the picture is definitely the NASA line and the and the picture is definitely bullshit. Okay, so you know, my I guess my overall here is that they released the image a little early back 
uh, from the no- they got the images in in November, released them in either late November or December, which is when I saw them, and there was no disclaimer. Then, because of all the heat that the internet's giving them, they caught the problem and put a little disclaimer in here. Cleverly, they left out the problem with the distance, right? Yeah. Okay, so they corrected it. So now if I try to go show someone this image, they'll say, well, they even claim that it's two pictures put together. I just don't understand why they would even release the picture in the first place. Well, because they have to do something. We're giving them $30 billion a year, so they got to give us these Photoshop photos to, to make it, you know, they, so that we think they're doing something over Man, there. And I better learn Photoshop. I can make, right, make a lot Right, we can make some mad money. Now, check this out. So upon digging, if you look at this other tab, they release the same type of image, same exact image. This one was collected supposedly in 2003. It's got the same problem with the widths. We get, they got that correct. That looks even closer. It looks even closer, yeah. right? The distance is way off. That's like 240,000 miles. There's not 30 of those Earths in between them. Or else, if it was 30, then that moon would be so much smaller, right? Because it'd be further back. Now, scroll down just a little bit so we can see the dates here. This was taken, released in 2003, and updated June 17th, 2016. Yeah, what, was, so what was updated though? I have no clue what was updated. However, there is nothing in this one about a composite with different images and, you know. So in other words, they quickly corrected the problem for that photo they released last year. And they're releasing the same crap every 10 to 15 years saying, look what we've got, a picture of Earth and Moon. Like... Why even bother releasing the one last Christmas when we've already done this 10 years ago? Excuse me, uh, 14. 14 years ago. Well, here's the problem, too. Like, is that the same telescope or is that taken from the surface of Mars? What is, it doesn't really, it says the, the first image of Earth from the red planet was captured earlier this month by a camera on board. Oh, this survey. is on board the, uh, the, 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 the surveyor. surveyor. Okay, this so why did, they, Mars. why did they need a telescope then if they had that? I don't know, and I guess at some point they, <laughs> the, 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 the robot surveyor spacecraft you know, popped out a telescope. Well, this isn't much more, it, I mean, digital cameras, iPhones have come further than, than yeah, thir- telescopes. 13 years later, here's the advance Four. we get. Yeah. Was- so, I, you know, I just, I, I just look at it as when you, st- I've seen these pictures before, and back before I knew to look into NASA, I would have never thought, and I've shown people this, this I was about to say picture, this image uh, at least a dozen times in the last couple months. Yeah. And I say, what's the problem with this? And they're like, uh, and nobody let's, guesses the distance problem. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about the difference between picture and image, which they, they have, they have gone completely to, and they've even added in this composite image. Yeah. But yeah. the terminology of image compared to picture is, well, a picture or a photograph is something that you take or, you know, you could draw a picture obviously, but a photo is something you took, Right. Whereas an image is uh, a combination of pictures, or it's uh, an enhancement of a picture. Or an, a image is, an image is an image is 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 uh, manipulated in yeah, some way, in composited. Some way. It's not the true the shutter the, yeah. the the taking the photo. When you have an image, it's like if you do put it in Photoshop, you add layers, you add text, you That's do right. this. Now it becomes an image. So. It's real telling to say that this is not the, in no, they've done so much to this. This is not the, the raw photo that's right. That's taken with a telescope, just like the Discover uh, mission that takes the photos of the Earth and the Moon when it was rotating around the Earth. Remember when it was orbiting? Correct. It still Correct. used the word image, yeah, and not yeah. photos. Yeah, I, you know, it's it's really telling. So they're not lying. It's like almost like it's. It's like we we told you it was an image. We told you it was a composite. Yeah. You know, we we told you. We never said it was a photo. It's like they're 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 dancing that line there between just straight up lying and like playing it safe as well. You know, so that they can't uh help be held liable in a court of law, which I still think they could because the deception is obviously there. But this is just another example to me of how NASA is continuously either so stupid that they make stupid mistakes all the time and release 13-year-old images over and over or they're either incompetent or they're dishonest one or the other or they think that everybody's stupid which is for the most part true yeah yeah and, and they don't have to be lazy it's the term i use good enough good and enough, good enough. Yeah. 
Good fine, enough. Fine, half-assed it. Nobody cares. Nobody. A 24-hour news cycle, and yeah. people have other jobs to go to. People have to watch football. People have to do all this stuff. They don't have time to the but whole. Then, but then, you know, and then that could be. But the, the fact that they use words like image, and they make these corrections like, oh, shoot, we caught a problem. Let's put a disclaimer in there or whatever. That shows me that it's more of a deliberate dishonesty. Because no a lazy doubt. person wasn't wouldn't go back and correct it. No doubt. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, just another, another one for like the you. NASA is full of crap. <laughs> they're yeah. scared of people like you. Uh, uh, hopefully their black suits aren't going to come around anytime soon. Tell me about it.